first of all, we gotta comment. We'd be remiss not to comment on your look. You, you've changed your whole look, Tony, and it's wonderful. Thank you. You're, you're so pretty with your hair like that. You're vulnerable looking now. Wow. <laughs> and soft and... Don't let it fool you, no. <laughs> and look at him with that yachting hat, hat on. Whoever knew you were such a curly-headed devil? Yeah, you know, even my father didn't know until I had it permed. <laughs> <laughs> Has he introduced you to my son, the perm? Well, he, well, he has curly hair, so I figured I'd look more like naturally him. Naturally curly my older age. My... What made you decide to do this really radical change? Well, it's something that's been coming on for about a year, and Daryl and I really felt that uh, after the television series that we really needed to do some revamping because our record career is very important to us. You didn't we... like your look on the television series? It was nice for then, but we're all growing and we're maturing and we're going in different directions in the time. You have to kind of show that with your look, too, I think. Yeah. And uh, also running had a lot to do with it. Running changed my life. You are a big runner. Yeah, aren't you? I am. And it, it got my body in shape, so I wasn't embarrassed of it anymore. What does were you embarrassed before by I didn't, I never really well, I was always hippie and leggy and you know, and then I started running and everything had shape to it. Now I can wear those Bob Mackie gowns slid up the kazoo and it looks good. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's fun now. Before and I covered everything up. Running did all that? Running did it. I started about a year and a half ago and it literally changed just, my whole thing. I know there's a dumb statement, but I tried it and I itched. <laughs> Is that normal? Where, where did you itch, where Murph? You? My legs, I kept going. While you were running? Yes. Where next next to the pants or on No. <laughs> Oh, Don't pants? Get too, uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not get too specific. My gym bloomers, but you know, no, I, I just felt, I think from no circulation, yeah, you know, from being mode. numb all over. You have to be very careful about the way you start. What are you A lot up? of people try to start too fast. They try to do too much too soon. You have to be very careful. And what are you up to? How many miles? Well, I had been up to 35 to 40 miles a week, and then I started playing more tennis. Now I'm only doing about 20, 25 miles a week. God, you should be in Chicago by I now. I know. <laughs> 35 to 40 miles. Yeah, I was thinking I was going to do a marathon, and then I decided that's not really my distance. I like the middle distance. And do you breathe this so-called air while you're doing it? It's very, very tough. I get up early in the morning and I run at Will Rogers State Park, which is near my house, because it, uh, if the air is going to be good, it's going to be good there. But I like to run on the road in different places, like San Francisco and other cities, you know, where the air is If you've ever been nice. up in Las Vegas around 3 o'clock in the morning, you'll, you'll see Tony uh, running. At the, oh. U, at the UNLV track, we ran after the second show because yeah. it's too hot during the day. Yeah. So we I've ran done at that night. at that track there. Yeah. yeah. And you stumble around that track in the middle of the night? You can see surprisingly well. I don't know what it is. It could be the lights of the uh, strip reflecting off the clouds, but you see very, very well. And about six or seven of us from the group would go out there at night and run. Do you do that kind of thing? I, I never have really gotten into running. No. It's a big high, isn't yeah. it? You don't have to, Kate. You're so nice and slim and trim. It's the people that need work that have to no, do that. No, I understand sort of that. You know the philosophy of it, and when you get to the place where you get past everything, and you're, you know, and all, it sounds wonderful. But I mean, I can't get that far. I'm. Can't takes a do lot you work. do you itch? Oh no, never <laughs> well, mind. And <laughs> an indoor track because of the air, and it was one twelfth of a mile. So yeah. you you make yourself dizzy running a mile. It's, it gets boring. Yeah, I run five miles, and I got shin splints from going around the same circle. Yeah. There's a sixteenth of a mile track in Vegas in one of the sporting clubs there indoors, yeah. and I'll run in that sometimes, but it is boring. It's better to get out in the country and run. Then it can be fun. You get a high from it, don't you? You know what I get a high from? It's not from actually doing it. It's the high that you feel when you've done it and you feel strong you and you feel in shape and it's You just... come home and beat up Daryl. No, I come home and do other things. Does Daryl get out there and run a little? Not at all. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nothing, right, there. You, you, should re you should warn people, when you run that much, Tony has gotten special shoes, you know, and special pants and the whole thing. It, it's a major change to do that kind of running, you know. I mean, you just don't go out. It took you how long to build up to four miles? Oh, it took me about, about four months of careful working up. You have to yeah, watch you, your heart rate all the time, make sure... It's, it's a science, you know. You're an independent little cuss anyway, aren't you? <laughs> I mean, yes. she takes off on her own a lot, Daryl, doesn't she? Yep. This year, Have you lost control? This year it was baseball. <laughs> huh? This year it was baseball. Oh, the Dodgers, right? Oh, yeah. You're, are you games. like those wild, crazy ladies who are out there yelling at all the players? And I guess so. I, I've seen, uh, I've 60, seen 60 games? games this year at home, yeah. And does it affect your mood around the house if the Dodgers it, don't yeah, it do does that? affect our mood around the house. <laughs> <Does it? laughs> do you go to those games? 
No, I, actually, I'm for the Angels. I have been since 1954. <laughs> when they were the L.A. Angels. Remember those days? Sure. Yeah. He, goes to the, he goes to the Dodger games about once a month. He'll right. Go. And what else do you do? You, you don't take separate vacations. No, but I did something this year that I've wanted to do for, for ages, and Daryl would never do it. And I thought, well, if I'm going to do it, I've got to do it on my own. And that was, I, I always wanted to pack back into the High Sierras for a week Backpack. and uh, well we went back on horseback and <laughs> myself it's all right it's, i'll get used to it myself and my sister and reggie smith's wife the dodger outfielder's wife and joe wetton from the dodger office and my business manager's wife and i uh packed in for five days in the high sierras and it was great we had wonderful times we Darryl, laughed. did he go no, Daryl didn't. No. <laughs> See, you've got to understand, Daryl has got to have do his own bathroom with white tile and running water. He doesn't like bugs. <laughs> and he's not too hot on horses. <laughs> the whole band is cheering Daryl. <laughs> They don't like that backpacking thing either. <laughs> the only thing he didn't like was he, he was very nervous because he couldn't call me for five days. And he was, yeah, he pictured me up there with, you know, with the bears and the snakes, and he was worried about me. When you find Did out. you stay in your white tile bathroom while she was up there? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I just cooked on my own and... Oh. Daryl, you don't sound too exciting to be married to, you know what I mean? <laughs> But I suppose that opposites do attract. I figure I was an old man at about five years old. <laughs> so all I can go is more in that direction. You know? He is very exciting to be married to. He, I have never I been... I didn't see a standing ovation. <laughs> None of the ladies out there are too thrilled Let about it. Let me tell you, I have... One thing about Daryl is I have never, ever been bored. The whole time we've been together, I've been... I've wanted to kill him a few times, but I've yeah. never... <laughs> Never been bored. He is he's a fun fast, guy. Endlessly fascinating. Endlessly. Thank you. You're welcome. Next. <laughs> well, I mean, gee, somebody fell over from the <laughs> fascination of it all. Fascinating in in what areas? You mean? Uh, well, does he tell you stories in bed at night, or does he? No, but you don't have to talk. You know, lots of other things. <laughs> We'll better come back after this message. I think so. We're getting a little heavy. Yeah.